Hi, my name is Luiz Henrique. I'm from Cefet MG Campus 5, and this is a tutorial for the download of Molecular Architect from Drug Discovery. Before we begin the installation, enter the first link on the web page on the Windows download. After you enter the next site, a download will start. After it is concluded, execute the setup you just downloaded. After the setup is done, go back to the Drug Discovery website and download the zip file in the next link. Now, extract it whenever you want and enter the Netcore folder inside it. Finally, run the executable named Morlar Windows as administrator. Now, the installer will download some external files. After it is done, the Chimera setup will pop up. Now, clicking Next. Accept the terms and click on Next. Now, select Chimera's installing path. We recommend you to leave it as it is. Click on Next in the next two panels. After checking the info on this screen, click on Install. Now, make sure that the precompiled Python modules option is checked and click on Finish. When Chimera is finished, the XMIN setup will pop up. Now, click on Next. Select where you want XMIN to be installed. We also recommend you to use the default option.
On the next panel, let the option as they came and click on Next. Now, click Next. Click Next. Check the info displayed and click Next. Make sure that the Launch XMing option is marked and click Finish. Now, Windows Defender will ask you some permissions for XMing. Just check both options and click on Allow. Now, select the Molar installing path. If you don't mind it, type Enter for the default option. Now, Molar will install a mini Ubuntu inside your Windows. Don't worry, it is very light and you won't even notice it doing your normal use. Note that if you already have an Ubuntu 18.04 installed on your Windows, the Molar installer will use it instead. Now you need to select a username and a password for your mini Ubuntu. You won't need the name, only the password, so make sure to remember it. Note that the username cannot contain spaces or uppercase letters. When you see this prompt, just type exit as it is shown and press enter. Now the Molar software itself inside a compressed archive will be downloaded. It is a quite big file, so this step may take some time depending on your internet connection. Now, the archive you just downloaded will be extracted. This process takes quite some time because of the size of the file, so we ask you to be patient. When this prompt appears, type the password you created on the previous step of the installation. Now, the installation process will probably start. This will take quite some time and during most of it, you actually don't have to do anything. We will speed up the video and just make some comments on the few parts where you need to do some input. Now the license screen just appeared. Type your Mopax and Modeler's licenses. If you don't have them, just click at the link displayed and come back after you got them. In this screen, use your keyboard arrows to select OK and press Enter.
Select OK with your keyboard arrows and press Enter. Select Yes and press Enter. When you see this prompt, press Enter. In this prompt, press Enter. Press Enter one more time. In this screen, select OK with your mouse. When you see this prompt, it means the installation has finished. If you see the error shown above on the video, it just means that you are reinstalling Mola and you already had a shortcut on your desktop. Now press any key to exit. Now, a shortcut to Molar application will be present on your desktop. If you click it, the Molar application will start after a little while. This is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching.